And whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent an ayah, they never try to figure it out on their own. As when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he asked one day, Mu'adh ibn Jabal was riding on the camel of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, very close to him. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him, Ya Mu'adh, hal tadri haqqullahu ala al-ibad Oh Mu'adh, do you know what is the haqq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon his ibad, his servants? And Mu'adh is very close to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he could have answered this question because he was a man of taqwa and iman. But his answer to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa it was Allahu wa Rasuluhu a'lam. Because the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa when they were asked such a question, they never thought to themselves they could answer this question better than the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa So they always returned it back to him to see what he would say. He told him, the haqq of Allah upon his ibad, la tushriku billahi shay'a, that they do not associate any partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he asked him another question. He said, Ya Mu'adh, hal tadri, haq al-ibad ala Allah? Oh Mu'adh, do you know what is the haq of the servants upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And Mu'adh, he answered again, Allahu wa rasooluhu a'lam. Allah and his messenger, he knows best. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa again, he rode a little further to let him think. And then after that, he says, إِذَا فَعَلُوا Allah la يُعَذِّبُهُمْ If they do this, meaning, لا تُشْرِكُ بِاللَّهِ شَيْئًا Allah will not punish them. <coughs> 